Good day. Today, Thursday, September 15, 2022, PTI leader Shabazz Gill secures bail in a sedition case. Islamabad High Court Chief Justice Athar Manala directs authorities to launch Gill on bail. Orders Gill to put up Rs 5 lakh as surety towards his bail. Says no one has to be disadvantaged of bail till there is no stable proof in opposition to them. Senior PTI leader Shabazz Gill has in the end been granted bail by using the Islamabad High Court, IHC, after many times trying to get launched on bail in the sedition case filed against him. PTI Chairman Imran Khan's Chief of Workforce Gill has been in detention considering that final month when he was once arrested after a treason case used to be filed against him for inciting mutiny inside the Pakistan army through his remarks in the course of a personal TV channel show. The case in opposition to Gill is registered beneath sections 124 of Sedition 505 and of the Pakistan Penal Code. Islamabad High Court serves word to Shabazz Gill on the plea in opposition to the dismissal of bodily remand. Gill had approached the Islamabad High Court ultimately Friday after his failure to get bail from a trial courtroom, regardless of non-stop efforts. The flesh presser nominated Kosar police station show, city magistrate Ghulam Murtaza, and others as events in the plea, pointing out that he used be arrested by way of Kosar police on August 9. Today's hearing. Islamabad High Court Chief Justice Athar Manala directed the authorities to launch Gil on bail after listening to arguments from all of the events in the case. The courtroom directed Gil to publish Rs 5 lakh as surety towards his bail. No one must be disadvantaged of the right to be released on bail till there is no stable proof in opposition to them. There would not be any treatment if the identical character turns out to be harmless later, the courtroom remarked, including that an investigation ought to go on however, with sturdy proof added to the fore. Earlier throughout the hearing, Islamabad High Court Chief Justice Manala remarked that the armed forces of Pakistan are no longer weak that they would get affected by irresponsible remarks made by someone. P, however, made it clear that Gill's irresponsible, inappropriate and derogatory remarks can be justified in any case. Meanwhile, Gill's attorney barrister Salman Safter reiterated that the case against Gill is based totally on sick intentions and political victimization. He claimed that Gill did not tackle the armed forces in his statement, however it used to be centered on the PMLN. Allegations of torture and sexual abuse the PTI had been insistent and stressful the celebration leader's bail, alleging that he is dealing with humiliation, torture, and sexual abuse in police custody. Multiple complaints on police searching for and challenging Gill's bodily remand for interrogations have been held with the protection, contending that the flesh presser wasn't bodily or mentally matched to endure bodily remand. Decision rejecting extension in Shabazz Gill's remand challenged in Islamabad High Court. Meanwhile, United Kingdom-based worldwide non-governmental corporation for human rights Amnesty International had additionally expressed issues about the alleged torture being inflicted on Gill at some point of detention. In a tweet, Amnesty International referred to it as an instantaneous and unbiased probe into the allegations of torture. Second News Pakistan Rupee vs. Dollar Rupee expands misfortunes against US dollar and interbank. Karachi, the Pakistani rupee persevered to lose its price for the 10th consecutive session, falling with the aid of RS 0.68 towards the U.S. greenback and the interbank market, Airy News stated on Thursday. According to the Forex Association of Pakistan, FAP, the nearby foreign money was once bought and sold at RS 235 towards the greenback and the interbank market, after dropping RS 0.68 in the course of intraday trading. The affiliation stated that the banks had been promoting bucks at RS-236. In the open market, the dollar used to be being traded at RS-238 to RS-240, the FAP added. In the closing nine consecutive buying and selling sessions, the Pakistani rupee fell with the aid of 6.9%, or RS-15.77, in opposition to the greenback. A day earlier, the nearby Forex endured its dropping streak towards the US dollar for the ninth consecutive working day, falling by using RS 2.40 in the interbank market. According to the State Bank of Pakistan, SBP, the neighborhood foreign money closed at RS 234.32 per dollar. The PKR's battering drove forward, notwithstanding the State Bank of Pakistan, affirming that Pakistan has obtained a home loan tranche of US $1.16 billion from the worldwide money related asset, IMF. Thanks for watching and subscribing to the channel.